With the current GPU shortage worldwide making it literally impossible to get your hands on one of those GPUs, have you ever wondered would it still be worth it to mine on just your CPU? Today I'll be exploring that topic and we'll see if it is still profitable to mine on a CPU. Stay tuned. Okay, so is CPU mining dead? Can you actually use it to make a profit? So let's find out. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to be using unminable, okay? So what you need to do to calculate this, so I'm going to start calculating my hash rate on my CPU and I'm going to be showing you what hardware I am using as well. So on unminable, I'm going to switch to Nightmare first. And I'm going to switch to the random X algorithm. Okay. Now you can use any pool you want. I'm just using unminable because there are more coins on offer here that you can get paid out in. Okay. Now random X is what the CPU would mine as the algorithm. What I am going to do is I am going to launch unminable as administrator. Now this is going to start up automatically because mine's already configured, but I'll stop that and I'll, uh, I'll go back. So you can see the configuration from the very start here. It's going to start up. Okay. Now my average hash rate on uh, my CPU, which is a six core 12 thread CPU is around 3,300 hash when it stabilizes. So I'm just going to go back here. We're going to choose CPU update minor file location. That has to be XM rig, which I have already selected. Okay, I'm going to go to next and I'm going to select in my case, I'm going to just choose Dogecoin for now. I've got my address in there and I'm just going to start mining. I've already updated my settings so that it uses high intensity mining and not low. That makes a big difference. So it's on high. I've got my custom worker name there and it's going to start to mine and we're going to get a hash rate. And there we go. Here we have a hash rate. So at the moment it's running at 2.9. Sometimes this does take a while. It remains sometimes at zero, but give it some time and it will connect eventually. If you haven't seen my unminable video on how to set this up, check that out. Make sure you're whitelisting your miners in the antivirus that you're using. If you're using Windows Defender, Avira, Avas, Kaspersky, whatever you're using, you need to exclude the miners and unminable from the path otherwise it will detect it as a virus and it will be deleted. I normally average around 3300 so I'm going to base my calculations on that. This is still stabilizing here. It will go up later as well. So I'm just going to go to the website now and I'm going to enter to calculate on my Dogecoin if I were to mine at 3300 which I already had there, I would be making around 1 Dogecoin a day. Now I've already opened this up, Dogecoin, let me just refresh, is currently at around 29, let's call it 30 euro cents at the moment, at the time of this video. So at 30 euro cents, I am currently running this. So let me just open up my energy meter here. And for your information, the energy meter is the TP-Link HS110. I am using for the entire system 227, let's call it an even 230 watts for the entire system. Now, the way to calculate this would be, you have to ask yourself, are you using your system just for mining or is your PC always on? If the PC is always on, then you're just going to take the difference of what it takes to mine. So if the difference is around, for example, 60 watts, you would calculate on the 60 watts. But in my case, I'm going to do it because I am mining, so the PC is on because I am mining, so I'm going to take this whole system, okay, as uh, that it is being powered on because I am mining. If I were to calculate that, now the cost per unit here is 13 euro cents. So if I were to calculate 13 euro cents for 229 watts, so first of all, 13 euro cents would be per kilowatt, which is per 1000 watts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate 230 watts times 24, because I am doing this 24 hours a day and it's burning 230 watts an hour. I would be burning around 5.5 
units, which is 5,500 watts. Okay, so 5.5 units at the cost of 13 cents would equal 71 cents. So here we said that the cost is around 30 cents, 30 euro cents. So is it profitable? No, it's not profitable. But you can also try other coins as well. And you also need to reason that this coin might go up in value. So in a way, it's not profitable, but it's still an investment and you can still mine it with your CPU. So mining with a CPU might not be as profitable. It's definitely not as profitable as using a GPU because that is more efficient, but you can still use your CPU. In a way, it's an investment because you don't know what this coin is going to do in the future. So if you believe in the coin and you believe in the platform and it all depends on the difficulty and the day and the coin and how many people are mining. And if the difficulty levels go up, you might not make one dodge a day, you might make less. If the price goes up, people will start mining it more. So if you already have these coins in your wallet because you've mined them with your CPU and the price potentially will go up in the future, then you would have made an investment mining with your CPU instead of just leaving your old PCs there, for example, and leaving your, your CPUs idle, not doing anything. You can actually use them for this as well. Now, just to demonstrate on another coin, let's say, for example, I mine Wink, okay, with my CPU. So if you want to mine Wink, it's going to be exactly the same hash rate because I'm using the same PC, the same CPU, 3,300. And I would be mining around 269 Wink coins in a day. Now, if we quickly check out the price for Wink at the moment. Okay, it's around 1.1 mil. So if we were to calculate that, and again, I know now that I am using around 5.5 units. So I'm using 71 cents of electricity. Then this would be 0.001125. And it's saying that I can make around 269 of them in a day, which would equal around 30 euro cents in a day as well. So it's similar to making one Deutsch a day. So which coin do you believe in? Can you CPU mine and make a profit in the future? Yes, you can, because you don't know what the markets are gonna do. They might actually go up. So if you really do believe in the coins that you're mining, then do mine them. It's better than just leaving your hardware there. You're kind of investing in the electricity part of making the coins that could potentially make you more money in the future as well. So CPU mining is not dead. It all depends on the hardware you're using. I'm using an Intel CPU. And just to show you that here is my performance. And this is my CPU, i7-5A20K CPU. It's not overclocked. You can try overclocking, but it's not going to be really worth it. You're going to strain the components for nothing. I've also tried to run this via script. Okay, so if I, instead of using the unminable app, you can actually use a script. And here I can show you my script, which is just easy. You can see it from the website. It explains how to script it. It's very easy. So you just use XM rig and your minus O is the pool you're mining to. In this case, we're mining random X because it's a CPU and I'm mining the RX algorithm and keep alive the minus K, the minus U is the wallet. So in this case, I was using Doge and the wallet. So Essentially, all I would need to change is the wallet name and the coin name if I wanted to change this to Wink or AAVE, for example, and that's basically it. And in XM Rig, there is another parameter called minus T11, which means, for example, instead of using six threads, which it is currently using because it's around that 57, 58% my CPU usage, okay. I am using 11 threads in this case. So I can use 12, but I'd like to leave a thread for Windows and obviously to be able to do other tasks as well. So if you want, you can try and use more threads, but I've already tried that and it does not improve the hash rate. So it is not worth the uh, stress that you're gonna cause on the CPU and it's not worth the heat that it will generate as well as a result. So I don't recommend you doing that at all. So I'm just not going to save this. Okay, so check out the coins because the coins can make a difference. Which coin you're mining can make a difference. 
AMD is better when it comes to mining, especially the Ryzen, the latest Ryzen 9s, 7s, and the Threadrippers. The Threadrippers are really efficient and they simply just boost up this hash rate here would be, for example, uh, 15,000, not 2,900 or 3,300, which is normally what my average is. So it all depends on the hardware you have as well and the efficiency you have. What I can recommend though, is that if you are GPU mining and you have a GPU rig, that you can actually use the CPU as well in addition to continue mining coins because your, your rig would be on anyway to mine on the GPUs. So maybe it will burn another 60 watts and uh, that would in that case possibly be profitable because if I were to calculate this again, so I'm just going to stop the miner. If you look at the 230 watts, that's going to drop and that's going to give me my delta. So that's going to be the difference between what the PC does at idle and when it's not doing anything and what the PC does when I'm mining. So it dropped to around 150. The difference is of 80 watts from 230. So 80 watts versus the total 200 I was calculating earlier would mean that I'm doing 80 watts times 24 hours. That would drop significantly down to 1.9 units. 1.9 units times my 13 cents per unit is a cost of 24. In this case, it's profitable because Deutschcoin, as we saw earlier, was at 30 cents. If we calculated Wincoin, it was also at 30 cents profit. Potentially here, I would be making around 5 cents of profits, okay? So it can be profitable. So make sure you calculate your energy usage. I do recommend the TP-Link HS110 because I have tested this on several appliances and it is very, very accurate. And you can actually uh, get it on your phone and monitor real time what it's doing as well. So th that's pretty much it, guys. I really hope you found this useful. If you have any questions, do hit me up in the comment section below. I would like to thank all of you that have subscribed to my channel. And if you have not subscribed, please do so. It really helps to motivate me and keep me going and keep these great techo topics going, especially mining at the moment because it's a really hot subject. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Let me know what coins you're mining. If you need any help, I'll do my best to answer all of your questions. Do take care of yourselves and until next time, thanks for watching.